Here's a cute story about snow. I'm not sure if it snows where you're listening to this story or how early in the year your snow comes, but one thing for sure is a visit to the snow or living in the snow can be really, really beautiful. This story is written by Marion Dane Bauer and it's beautifully illustrated by John Wallace. Snow. The winter world is cold. The trees are bare. The grass is brown. Gray clouds crawl across the sky. Clouds are crystals of ice. Each bit of ice clings to a speck of dust. The specks of ice and dust cling to one another. They grow so heavy that they drop from the cloud. Hmm. When the air is very cold, the snowflake stays small and bright. When the air is not so cold, the flakes grow soft and larger and larger. They grow big enough to catch on your mitten or on your tongue. Each snowflake has six sides. They come twirling to the earth in a billion different shapes. Snow dresses the trees. Snow covers the grass. Snow keeps the flowers warm through the long winter. When spring comes, snow melts into puddles, into rivers, into lakes, and gives the earth a fresh, cool drink. But while winter is here, snow makes the cold world beautiful and so much fun. Facts about snow. The temperature has to be 32 degrees or colder for water to turn into ice. Every snowflake has six sides. Every snowflake can contain as many as 50 crystals of ice. Trillions and trillions of snowflakes fall in a single storm, but the flakes take many of different forms. People used to think it was impossible to find two alike, but a researcher named Nancy Knight once did find two snowflakes exactly alike. When strong winds drive heavy snow, we have a blizzard. Clouds can make snow even in summer, but because the summer air close to the earth is warm, the snow turns into rain by the time it reaches us. Snow. <laughs> it really does make our winter world look so much more beautiful. I hope you're enjoying snow wherever in the world you are listening to our stories. Enjoy the winter season. Until we read again, adios amigos, goodbye.